Welcome to Macroeconomics and Cheese, brought to you by Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. I'm Matthew Hill. And I'm Evan Hill. First thing tonight, we're going to talk about stocks. Stocks are climbing higher following large amounts of selling. According to CNN, strong results from General Electric and Morgan Stanley put traders in a good mood. Bloomberg stated that consumer confidence is at a seven-year high following a drop, the drop in gas prices and gains in the labor market. Even though the rebound is optimistic, stocks are still down heavily for October. The U.S. Trust Chief Investment Officer Chris Heise stated that according to indicators, the U.S. is about halfway through one of its longest expansions ever. McKellen from MarketWatch believes that the recent stock sell-off matches the sell-off resulting from the BP oil spill in 2010. He believes Ebola and the oil spill have caused similar reactions in the public. He has dubbed the two sell-off periods as crisis bottoms. Now let's go to bonds. According to CNN, investors are still bullish on America, doubling down their bets on U.S. Treasury bonds. The rate on a 10-year Treasury bond plunged Wednesday morning to 1.86%, its lowest since May 2013. The yield moved above 2% later in the day, so rates have a relatively long way to go before reaching the all-time low of 1.39% in July 2012. Security is the cause for this rush to buy bonds. The United States seems to be holding up better than Japan and Europe, and there are concerns about China's economy losing steam. However, the big drop in rates is a bit curious, given that the Fed is about to end its quantitative easing program. Good news regarding the deficit. Bloomberg reported the deficit shrank in the last fiscal year to the lowest level since 2007. The shortfall was $483.4 billion in comparison to $680.2 billion in the previous year. That is about a third of the record high deficit in 2009. Treasury Secretary Jacob Liu said the improvement partly came from stronger growth as unemployment dropped to 5.9%. Expenditures were driven up by Medicaid spending and subsidies for health insurance, while decreased spending on military expenses helped to even things out. Lou also stated there has not been a faster deficit reduction since World War II. He believes the American economy is better positioned than any other advanced economy in the world. Shout out to our sponsor, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. I don't mean to be crude, but let's talk about oil prices. Oil prices plunged almost $4 on October the 14th alone. It was the largest single-day fall in more than a year, bringing the price of Brent crude oil to $85 a barrel. In June, a barrel had cost $115. Normally, falling oil prices would boost global growth. Consumers in importing countries tend to spend money more quickly than cash-rich oil exporters. However, now the economic question is whether lower prices reflect weak demand or an increased supply of crude. Weak demand would suggest that falling prices point to weakening growth. Focusing on international economics, according to the International Monetary Fund, the uneven global recovery continues despite setbacks early in 2014. The growth forecast for the world economy has been downsized to 3.3% from 3.7%. Short-term risks to this recovery revolve around geopolitical tensions. Medium-term risks include stagnation and low growth in advanced and emerging markets. Due to the risks, raising actual and potential growth must remain a priority, requiring continued support from monetar monetary policy. In a number of economies, infrastructure investment can provide support to demand needed for growth. There is also a need for structural reforms to ensure that the growth is sustainable. Let's talk about currency exchange. The Great Britain pound has gone up 0.006016% in the last year. The Chinese yuan has gone down 0.461504%. The euro has gone down 6.14112%. Uh, and uh, Argentina is not doing so hot either. It's gone down uh, 31 0.173748% in the last year. That's all we have for you tonight. I'm Evan Hill. And I'm Matthew Harold. Thanks for watching.